All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, so my name is Jesus Reina, and I'd like to just make this video to introduce myself. And this is a welcome video for my English 51, 52 courses. And just so, uh, because I know right now we're, we're online. So I just wanted to make this video to introduce myself and to welcome you guys to the class. Um, and just to talk about couple of important things um, with uh, relation to the syllabus, just in the um, Again, my name is Jesus Dana. Um, I've been, uh, I'm an instructor at SCC. I also teach at UCRG. Uh, this semester, I'm strictly teaching uh, at UCS, at South Dakota College. Um, but I've been uh, doing this already eight years. I graduated from the University of Texas Pan American in the um, in 2013. Um, I have an MFA in creative writing, uh, especially between English and my certificate in Mexican studies. Uh, and um, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Um, I've, I've taught uh, different entry level courses related to English, uh, 13 and 13 and 2. Uh, I've taught British literature, uh, and development history. Um, I've taught at UCRGV, I've taught here at a student, I've taught at Washington Community College. Um, you, know, um, you know, I grew up as a, as a migrant. Uh, I used to uh, I used to travel to uh, me and my family used to go up to Montana and work work in the field. Uh, then we go to Michigan and work uh, over there as well. Then I come down, uh, come back down. So you know, for me growing up in high school, I never really got an opportunity to to kind of stick around till the end of the year. We always kind of a little bit early, uh, but. You know, you know, some of the you know, some of the experience that I have, you know, um, you know doing uh, you know, working, traveling, stuff like that, really kind of helped me kind of think about education in a different way. Um, kind of made me think about the importance of, uh, of you know individuals like me, individuals that come from the same background as I do, um, individuals from the world and that. Uh, Kind of our, uh, you know, our kind of our, our people, you know, this, this demographic is very, uh, is a very special one that we live in. I'm really thinking of this I love the way But I mean, it, again, it, it, it um, you know, gave me a different perspective. I think I appreciate um, the fact that I have to do, that I went through the stuff that I was going through. As a young adolescent, uh, and makes me kind of appreciate it. I had a, a strong kind of family background, so you know, I think also that that helps. Um, welcome, and again, you know, I mean, you know, I come from a family of ten people, and I'm the first male in my in my family to graduate. College. Luckily, I was you know, fortunate to have sisters that went to college before me, so we have the groundwork for me to sort of experience, um, you know, uh, higher education. And, you know, I hope that, you know, a lot of us that, you know, are, you know coming here are sort of, you know, we kind of relate to each other because we definitely, you know, have come from the same. Back then, the family, kind of the culture is sort of the same like that. Uh, I hope that you guys accomplish what you are here to accomplish. And you know, it's going to be tough, but you know, you can get through it. If I did it, you guys can do it. Uh, you know, I hope that you guys have a good semester. Uh, I want to get to the um, kind of important stuff uh, with regards to the video. Um, just kind of things about the course that 
some of you guys might be wondering. Uh, again, I, I mentioned that I'm kind of updating uh, Blackboard, uh, our Blackboard forum, just because I kind of got classes with Mercer. I didn't have a chance to do it earlier. So I'm pretty much kind of done with it, but I'll explain some of the things that have changed to Mercer. Um, and uh, so that way you guys aren't hearing about the information. Also, the video is good just so that you know that there's somebody behind the screen and uh, looking at uh, your assignment and uh, somebody that, you know, can, you know, for some of the classes that are coming face to face. Um, in the meantime, we're kind of we're, we're doing this, but you know, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to sort of the, uh, the issues that are going on with. With COVID and, and, and be back to this kind of in class instruction. So, you know, if that's the class that we initially wanted, we'll, we'll be back in there. All right. Um, for the purpose of the um, um, of the video, um, again, this is a welcome video for both my 1301 and 1302 class. Um, uh, our syllabi are pretty similar, pretty much similar in the way that I sort of go about handling my, uh, my classes is the same way, except for the assignments that's probably the only thing that's different. Um, so um, when it comes, I guess when it, when uh, the portion of the video that comes down to kind of me explaining the assignments, I'll make sure to mention that this is for 1301 and uh, then if you need to check uh, if you are in a 1302 class, make sure that you check concourse uh, uh, so that you, you know what kind of the difference is. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, reverse this video thing. All right, so um, I've had some students that have emailed me with regards to different things uh, with you know, courses, with kind of content that wasn't appearing yet. Uh, for the most part, I think I have everything set up already for, uh, for my classes. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use this class, 1301 to 15. Um, there are a few things, and again, this is this is about the same thing. Even if you're in a 13 class, I'm just going to kind of just show you guys um, kind of the basics of Ultra of Blackboard. You guys can go to and um, you guys can get some new stuff, which I hope you guys All right, so uh, I'm going to go to a student preview right now, which is what you guys, or what you all should be looking at when you open up Blackboard. Um, so if you notice right now, uh, there's a few things that you're going to be able to see. There's not a lot of stuff. So some of you guys that uh, you know email me asking, telling me that you don't know what's going on with Blackboard, you don't know how to use it. Um, you know, it's you're going to have to just kind of browse through it for the meantime. If you have additional questions after you browse and you can get the whole hang of it, I recommend that you visit the CLC it's on campus. They get to be able to see, and if you have questions, they might be able to help you. Okay. For the most part, when you get here, you have you have content, which is this is all of the stuff that we'll be going through during uh, the semester. On the left hand side, uh, some of the stuff you might have, some of them you might not do attendance. Uh, you can view uh, the other thing that's really important here is uh, to view the. Uh, the announcements. Now, generally, whenever you get it in, if I if I put out any new announcements, they'll come out and automatically populate. Uh, so you can do you can do the announcements archive for anything that you've missed. Make sure that that's you're looking at that daily so that if you for whatever reason miss the days, you'll be able to do it. Right. Now I at least put out announcements at least once a week. Um, 
maybe twice, depending on the amount of work that we have. Um, but that's pretty much it. It has my instructor information. You can email me. It has a little postcard thing here that you can click on and you can email me if you have any questions. All right. You also have a calendar of stuff, which I really don't know. I don't have really much on me. Uh, any discussions that we uh, that are open right now that you guys have to do should appear on here. Now, some of this stuff, like some of these discussions are sort of far out in modules. Don't worry about that stuff. Worry about the stuff that we need to do. For example, module one is open. Um, so don't get ahead, ahead of yourself with regards to this stuff because you will get confused. You can view your grades and um, stuff like that on here. So later on, once stuff gets you know, start getting graded, you can go on there and check what you're, what you're grading. All right, so you'll always have that. All right. For the meantime, I want to go to the course content real quick. Um, I don't use Tonto or Instant Messenger. Um, so, you know, unless I feel kind of the need to do that later on in the semester, I might, I might do it, I might do something like that, but I'm not really using that right now. Uh, you have the access to the textbook. So this is both the 1301 and 1302. So um, it has a PDF version and stuff like that. Although I am using the textbook at kind of my discretion whether or not I can you know, use it for some assignments. If I think that um, you know, we, we would use it or it's going to be related to quizzes and stuff like that we're going to be doing, then I'll make sure that, or just make sure that you're looking at the content and stuff like that. So you, know, so you prepare for kind of cool. Um, go ahead and go over all of this stuff on your own. Go through the overview, learning outcomes on your own stuff. That I'm not going to really necessarily go through the video. It's just uh, the stuff that you should be going through. Again, right now, you only have your start here, uh, which I guess I should have started there. Uh, which you have your welcome page, your sense of course information, all of this other stuff here. Go through all of this stuff on your own. I do want to show you guys your console syllabus. If you click on console syllabus, um, you will have the actual syllabus you're using, uh, my information, my office hours. I'm going to go ahead and go through some of this stuff uh, on my own, but for the most part, I'd like for you guys to. Make sure that you are going through the syllabus um, so that you can view what's going on in the class. For some reason, this is not going to be. I'm looking at 13 along this shirt. I modified this. I'm coming out with the way. Um, I'll make sure that, uh, that I get that. <clears throat> so again, all of this stuff, um, the welcome information, all of the concourse syllabus stuff, all of this stuff, just make sure that you go. Module one is already uh, available for post and two courses. Um, it has your overview, uh, to do list kind of stuff. Uh, for thirteen oh two, there's like some review things that you should have known from uh, the previous class for thirteen oh one. For on the 1301 class, and it has again the content is a little bit different. But make sure that you're going through all this stuff. The module one discussion is just an introduction on the class. Introduce yourself. Your reflection journal that you have to do is something that's talking about your experiences in reading and writing. For a 1302, it might be like a recommendative kind of journal question. And there is a short kind of quiz. Cool that covers all this stuff. As long as you go over the essential information in the module, you have no problems with the quiz. The quizzes are assigned in order for you guys to make sure that you guys are keeping up with the readings that we are doing in class. Uh, so again, as long as you're doing the readings, you should have no problems with your module. So that's a quick overview with regards to the, uh, the ULTRA and how to sort of navigate. Again, feel free to browse around, uh, uh, to look at different things here, make sure that you're reading the content in each folder 
So the idea of a good understanding. Um, I want to talk about real quick. Let me see if I'm getting the other one. Okay. Now, when you go to um, to Concord, it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna cover sort of the things that are related to the 13 and 13 two. The way that you format your essays is listed on your on your uh, on your on your syllabus. And I'm using just the general MLA format to uh, make sure that your assignments are all done uh, on Microsoft Word. You can do it on on Google also. Uh, um, as long as you're following the format, uh, I don't mind. Make sure that you're using 12 point font. Fonts that you're, you know, I prefer Times New Roman, um, but just make sure it's not some sort of wacky font. Make sure that the font, I, I know kind of the ins and outs of some students try to make the font bigger so that their essays are long and stuff like that. I will see that and I'll call you guys out on it. Just make sure that you are using the appropriate fonts when you're doing uh, what else? Um, all of our assignments or essays are run to safe to sign. Um, very important that you are not passing up the work at somebody else's. Do not plagiarize. It's like my biggest pet peeve. Don't like you know, students cheating or trying to borrow uh, you know essays that were done by people that took the class before. It will be caught. I will catch it. You know, I will recommend you guys. Just don't do it. Again, I always, you know, make it a big point to talk about plagiarism at the beginning of the semester and I still have to do it. So, you know, um, don't embarrass yourself. Don't, you know, don't let me catch you again. This is not my first rodeo. Been doing this for a long time. I know what you know, your writing looks like. Uh, so, again, just don't do it. Um, grading criteria, again, you know, it's going to be pretty much, you know, about four to five length essays, uh, four to five page length in essays. Um, you know, we will have rough drafts to do, and you will turn in a final draft. I will allow you guys to revise your final essay once, or, or the one that kind of counts in a bit, you know, some, so um, again, I'll, I'll I'll let you do that so that you can get the best school that you can. Um, so uh, again, during the semester, we'll sort of uh, during the semester, you guys will be doing um, all kinds of things like journals, quizzes, discussions, um, demonstrate participation, but demonstrate you sort of working on your writing, uh, making sure that you are. You're participating and you're kind of taking the time to to demonstrate kind of the you know the discipline of writing in, in 1302 again it's more like a, it's a different kind of class it's more like an argument class um each major assignment is listed on here and we go to points um, i have both percentages and points uh so again you know in 1301 we have uh, Kind of different essay modes that you guys will be working on. In 1302, it'll be uh, different kinds of uh, argumentative essay modes. So uh, make sure that you are looking at the post on the information and everything is listed on here as far as points and what grades and stuff like that. Um, let's see here, what else? What else? Um, there are 15 modules on. Um, you know, that we're working on. Okay. So the tentative schedule is a little bit off with regards to that. I haven't really updated this. Uh, I might do it during the semester. Um, again, uh, you know, we, uh, we're, we're sort of going through a new format with Blackboard. If you guys have put a 
if you guys have took classes before, Blackboard didn't look like this before. It was a lot kind of looked a little bit primitive, but I kind of like the old Blackboard, but I think the new one kind of is a lot more user friendly for, you know, for different purposes. I mean, I kind of enjoy um, both of them. The, the previous one I liked because I kind of knew how to do it already. And this one I like because as the more that I work on it, the more kind of, you know, the more that I'm able to do quicker and the more that I'm able to sort of uh, make new assignments and sort of edit in a better kind of uh, effective way. So um, again, um, you know, browse through it. It's really user friendly for that. Uh, for both my 13 and 1302, you guys will be provided your textbooks to make sure that you're checking the content information in, um, in the start here so that you can see the text. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is to by is by email, and you guys can email me to Blackboard. Um, if for whatever reason I don't respond on Blackboard, I generally do. Uh, send me an email to my Jag, uh, my Jag mail, Javina for underscore for three four six. All right. Um, do not email me your homework ever. I will not check it. All right, so if you have problems with Blackboard, you can't submit your assignment or anything like that. Let me know what's going on with that. Send me a Blackboard email. Don't email me your homework. All right, I already get a bunch of emails from all kinds of places. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be responsible for, you know, for not checking homework assignments or things like that. So just don't email me. All right, if you have issues with submissions, something that might be a technical problem, Call the help desk so that they can help you with that. Um, let me know what's going on with it as well. Don't email me, all right? I'm not going to check it you both for my post class, all right? I will not check your homework if you email me. All right, uh, the other thing is email etiquette. Make sure that when you are emailing your professors, and this is not just you, this any of the uh, professors, Make sure that you are professional and courteous. All right. Um, you know, I've, in the last kind of year that I've taught classes, um, I've been, you know, unfortunately surprised by some emails that students send that um, that are both kind of, you know, you know, sound rude and are are not professional and are, you know, I'm kind of surprised that you know. A lot of students are not, haven't been educated with regards to how to send um, professional emails. Um, again, be mindful of your tone. Check your grammar, your spelling, and punctuation. Make sure that you um, get your question across in a polite manner. And again, you know, that goes a long way. I do the same, same thing with my So make sure that you are mindful. Um, turn your assignments in on time. Um, you know, right now we're still dealing with the pandemic, so you know uh, I am understanding with regard to to the stuff that that we're all going through. I have friends that are sick, family members that have you know contracted COVID recently, and I understand that it's very difficult. Um, and we're trying our best as uh, uh, you know as a college to to kind of to try to to uh, mitigate the things that that are going on um, uh, with regards to kind of being you know either face to face or if needed uh, online instruction and you know that's why really I'm kind of doing this video so that uh, you know we try better so that you know if there is any kind of uh, you know broken communication we try to sort of do the best that we can to make sure it doesn't Right. Um, attendance. I've never really had issues with attendance. Uh, you know, right now, you know, unless we, we sort of for my class classes that are meeting less, you know, unless I need to, I'll talk to you about attendance and stuff like that. But for the most part, right now, I haven't met with any classes so far. I think next week for my 13-1 courses, uh, we'll 
well, I'll be notifying you with regards to what's going to happen. So we're not moving. We're sort of taking this on. All right. If you, for whatever reason, fall behind with a lot of your work, but generally, if you miss like a few assignments or a couple of assignments, I'll start sort of emailing individuals. But I am not going to be micromanaging you. Be kind of, uh, you, you are responsible college adults. This is not high school anymore. You should be mindful of the work that you need to do. If you have any questions, you should you know, direct them to me. Make sure that you're not that you're asking questions. Make sure that you're seeking the help that we need if it's for writing purposes, the class purposes, or anything like that. So um, again, uh, I will I am treat I treat you guys like adults. So uh, make sure that we handle you know, any any stuff that you need to do for the class. Uh, make sure that you handle it to the purposes. Um, don't assume for whatever reason if you just stop coming to class, don't assume that I'm gonna drop you. Uh, or anything like that, you know, um, make sure that if you realize class is not for you, try to you know, do the drop, let me know that you that, uh, that you need to drop the course. I, I'm not going to take it personally or anything like that. Um, so, again, uh, if you need to drop the course. Uh, whether this is online or face-to-face, -face, again, um, I make sure that we're respecting each other. Uh, Especially in some of the conversations and some of the things that we we'll, that we be, that we're going to be posting on the discussion, we all have an opinion. Um, we we all have a right to disagree with each other, and it's okay, right? And you, um, the reason that we're here, the reason that we're in college and university, is for us is for us to look at things in, in different ways. Um, to be objective, to try to understand each other's uh, you know, beliefs, uh, opinions, and try to navigate these, these things uh, to come to a mutual understanding. All right. Mm -hmm. So again, respect goes a long way with me, and it goes a long way with with everyone to make sure that. Um, most of this other stuff, uh, go ahead and, and, and go and look and in, look into this, these things on your own. Um, there's also the English Department of Plagiarism Statement. Um, I, you know, I don't tolerate cheating or plagiarism. If I find that you guys are plagiarizing or cheating in class, I don't have a problem failing. All right. So don't do it. Just do your own work try your best if you know your best is getting a c in the class then be proud of it right same thing if it's an a you know you, you should be proud of the work that you turn in um, again I, I have to make sure that i cover the plagiarism statement so you guys understand uh, that it is a serious thing um chain of command statement if you have any issues with the class or with me um let me know what's going on i mean i'm here to help you know i'm your instructor if you can't get any help or any uh if i can't uh, answer your question or whatever or you can't figure out something then uh, let me know what's going on uh, our chair mr mendoza uh, is the next chain of in command so if we can't figure out uh, a mutual kind of uh, understanding or resolution, then by all means, we can talk to our chair and um, and and, uh, and see if we can't resolve any type of issue. All right, so um, that's all I have. Again, um, make sure that you are checking your syllabi. I will be posting the next, uh, the next module assignment. Uh, I'm not counting anything late right now. I know some students I might have some students that recently just joined the class. Um, so um, for the meantime, uh, just make sure that you're trying to do these, make, make sure that you're trying to do these assignments as soon as possible. I will kind of come up with a date where I'll be like, okay, this is the last date that you have to turn into some stuff. Uh, after this, things will start kind of coming again. Uh, and so I will notify you guys when I'm going to do. 
like that. Uh, I hope everybody is taking care of themselves, staying healthy, um, just kind of staying warm right now because people are getting sick for all kinds of stuff. You know, common cold is, is a thing also. So um, I look forward to meeting those people that I have in class and reading your discussions. Those people that I'm meeting virtually, uh, I hope to read your discussions, getting to know you guys. Um, can feel free to drop me a line if you have any questions or concerns. So, all right. I'll see y'all. Take care.